Hello everyone, my name is Reva and I post videos every Ravivar and alternate Thursdays on writing, reading. So if you are someone who might be interested, consider subscribing to my channel and also checking out my social media links down in the description box. This is episode 16 of Review Ravivar with Reva. Review Ravivar with Reva is a series where I try and review a new book every Ravivar for you guys. So without any further delay, let's dive right straight into the video. Our today's pick is You, Me and the Colours of Life by Noah C. Walker. You, Me and the Colours of Life is a romance novel. It is a story about Janika and Thomas. Janika and Thomas are two completely different persons, yet they fall in love with each other. And like any love story, there is a twist if it can stand the test of the time or not, in order to find this, you have to read the book. And whether you should read the book or not, I am here to tell you that. About the author. Noah was born in late 1960s and you can find her enjoying her time in both sea and mountains. The most exciting part about her day is finding stories about people in the cafes. The book You, Me and the Colors of Life was originally written in German by Noah and it was translated in English by linguist Lisa. Today, I'll be talking about the translation version of the text. Things I liked The book cover, storyline and characters all paint a vibrant colour in front of you. And the fictional world is so beautiful that I won't mind losing myself into it. The story opens with a very chic idea of Janika saving a man's life. But that man is not Thomas. So with the story proceeding, you would fall in love with the characters and the plot. The book is also a little bit of cheesy. And if you're somebody who enjoys Bollywood, I'm sure you are going to love this book. The story has three main components. Love, hope and emotional overdrive. A little tip for you. If you are somebody who is sensitive, make sure to keep tissues with you because I am sure you'll be shedding a tear or two. The only thing that I disliked about the book was that the book was too busy and focused on too many characters at one time and it might get overwhelming for a lot of readers. But the focus on these many characters is important to build the storyline and make the book complete. Like I said, if you are somebody who enjoys Bollywood, you are going to love this book as the character Janika is the most cheesiest I have ever read. But since it is a fictional world, I am going to give it to her. It's okay to be cheesy and love whatever you like. That's the beauty of fiction. You can like and enjoy things that might seem a little bit weird or awkward in the real life. Other than that, this book was a great read. To round up, the book was a nice read, but nothing too special. So from my side, this is a 2.5. There's nothing that makes me say that you need to drop this one. I suggest you read it if you are somebody who's looking for reading romance and if you are someone who has a taste for romance. But if you're someone who wants to try out romance novel for the first time, I won't say that this is the best book out there. There are many other books and I would suggest you to watch my previous videos to get more suggestions. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and comment down below what is your favorite Bollywood movie. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you press the bell notification on so you always know whenever I post out a new video. Till the next video, be happy, stay safe and keep reading. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.